All right, we are back. How about that intro, Sam? How about that, How about intro, that man? intro, man? What y'all think? What y'all think? Step it up. Hey, man, we had to put a little money into this intro yeah. and uh, little money is the keyword. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. keywords. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to invest in your future, guys. Anything you do, put money into it. Put your soul, your heart, your grit in it. I mean, yeah, the best investment you can make is actually yourself. You'll get the biggest returns. Exactly. Yep. That doesn't Our, mean like spending hella money on your clothes does, does or jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah like exactly. These things for your personal yep. development. Yeah. Put that ROI in. So welcome to Taco Tours. Thank you again for everybody that's watching. I appreciate all the views, all the likes, all the shares. Keep doing that because we're gonna keep bringing you tacos. So today we're going to. Alameda. Yeah. What you think? Yeah, what cities are next to Alameda, Sam? Let's do another uh, geography test. Is it you. Texas? <laughs> oh, wait, Texas State. <laughs> oh my god. This guy. How embarrassing. How about dude? Las Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> that's not a state. Uh, that's a city. Oh, that's a city, my bad. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's. <laughs> I didn't get it right, trying to make a joke. My head is in the tacos. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Hey, you're just thinking tacos for you folks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I've never been telling meat actually. So, uh, it's, well, it's really small. It's, it's yeah. essentially like this tiny island just yeah. right across from Oakland. I was looking at that on yeah, the map. Jack London Square. It's actually, people say it's Oakland, but it's really Alameda. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, so it's, got, it's, got a, it's like a nice little beach town. If you Called really? Beach Town. It's you know, a very small beach, only the one beach. But you know, it's by the water. You gotta go back to Oakland sooner or later. Oh man, you know, Oakland is yeah. is man. It's just so much, so many taco <laughs> damn trucks. It's on one street. Though. Yeah, it's it's too many. Yeah, it's way too many. I think I feel like LA would be that kind of place too, Ooh, where there's yeah. so many taco trucks like Little that. Little trip. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, actually, we have something planned very soon, so stay tuned. Anyways, let's get started. So we're at the first location at Taqueria, Ramiro, and Sons. Yeah, I wonder how many sons he has. <laughs> how many sons are working in there? I know, right? It's a Mexican family. There's got to be at least like seven sons in there. <laughs> 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 the that how that yeah. my racism got interrupted by the bag. <laughs> just, just, yeah, that must be a sign. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got some really juicy looking, beefy looking tacos. Uh, they recommended the carnitas and chicharrón. Chicharron. So, but you know what's funny? Like in the Philippines, when chicharron is usually like dried pork mm. skin. You know? like, I mean, uh, it's, really it, it is kind of dried until you start adding the sauce, and then mm. then, then they'll call it the green chicharron. Mm. They also give us uh, a little sample plate of like the carnes, the chicharron, and the, the meat carnitas. itself. Yeah, that's it. I've never seen that before. Let's try this. Quick, Should it just give you like quick. a slab of meat? Yeah, maybe just to like check it out. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, let like that fellow that ripped apart yeah. really easily. <laughs> but it felt like, like, ooh, nice and crunchy. Mm. Mm. Got a good amount of fat on there, so it gives the meat <laughs> flavors, the fat. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Crunchy and delicious. Mm. <laughs> Beef's a little bit, just a slightly more flavor, in my opinion. Really? Well, I'm, I'm not talking a lot. Oh, it's perfect. I'm on top of like 5%. The, the fattiness is all you need. Mm. And especially when you start in the sauce on top. Perfect. Well, maybe that's why they don't flavor it as much. Because they're going to put it, mm -hmm. you know, with the other ingredients, the cilantro, the onions. That's nice. Try the carnitas. Little piece. Mm. It's moist, which is nice. 
a tons of flavor, but I think it's because we, we need to eat it in taco format. Nice, big, juicy half lime. How I like it. I like how this time he's actually remembering to describe the toddler. He's not just biting <laughs> into it. <laughs> Don't forget to give me a napkin. There you go. <laughs> All right. This is double yellow corn. Yep. Double yellow corn. Cilantro cebolla. The cuts on the cebolla are a little bigger. Um, it has like a molcajete green sauce type of style. And let's, let's eat this quick because it's getting really cold. Well, what's interesting is I don't know <laughs> if you guys can see it, but it seems like there's like some flavoring on the tortilla itself. Mm. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Mm. Really juicy, mm. succulent. Mm -hmm. Definitely see why they don't flavor the meat anymore. Like I said, mm. that's nice. The well, tortilla is a little bit on the soggy side. I like the tortilla because it's double, double corn. You want to try this? Mm. Well. Add a little bit of more lime juice. Nice and succulent, juicy, heaven. Mm. Mm. That's all just nice. Actually, there's already a little bit of kick to it, even without the salsa. Oh, yeah, really? I just noticed it right now. But then I noticed that on the first bite and the second bite, I don't get that. I feel it in my mouth now. Maybe I just have herpes. Mm -hmm. This is burning. I'm burning. I think for me, the only thing that could need is a little bit more salt, and that would be perfect. But other than that, I think it's really good. So you agreed with my statement earlier. It just what? Just a little bit more flavor. I guess. No. I don't know why this looks different though from the one that we just ate. Maybe mm. it's a different kind of style of preparation. Maybe because it's not chopped up. Because it didn't look that cr crispy. In crispy. There, huh? uh -huh. yeah. mm. All right, on to the next one. All right, bombs up. Or should we say tacos up? Yeah, I think. Just a little bit more salt, and these would be nice. Actually, you know what? If it, if it had some of that... Remember when we ate the ones in South San Francisco? They added the skin. Uh, that's what gave it that more... Yeah, some more fat to it, the, the flavor. It gives it that yeah, flavor. Yeah. I think if it had a little bit more of that, it would be perfect. But yeah, it's, it's not a bad taco. Now, let's say this first one's already... Um, it's already proven that it's better than Berkeley. <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah. better. Yeah, Berkeley was surprisingly uh, average for yeah. a college town. I thought they would be better. Uh huh. Maybe college people like average. Oh, it's more salsita. Mmm. Mm. Ah, I love this uh, chicharron. Super crunchy. I think you have to like bite this and then eat the taco. <laughs> That'll give it a nice balance. It's a two step process. Uh -huh. Huh? I think a lot of people would really be satisfied with these tacos. Um, like I said, they just were in the fortunate position that you know we've had tacos from a lot of places <laughs> at this point, mm -hmm. and we've had some amazing tacos. Mm. Mm. But if, like, say all all you were exposed was to Ramiro and Sons, I don't think you'd be in a bad position at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're giving it the check of approval. <laughs> Yeah, if you're over there in Berkeley, just head on down to Oakland or Alameda. Have yourself some good tacos. <laughs> and also, you got a cool little outdoor area out here, you know? Like, you don't have to go home or eat in your car in COVID times. So. Yeah, this is a rarity. We're not eating in the car. <laughs> Special episode today. <laughs> They're just too, too nice not to. It looks like the people that were sitting over there, I guess we drove them away <laughs> when they are talking. They were chilling out for a while. <laughs> Part of the meat? Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't want to fill up too much. Yep. Yeah, we got <laughs> we got two more spots to hit. <laughs> Can you saw uh, like lime? <laughs> Just squeeze lime juice in my mouth. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think that's a good start. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, someone recommended this place. I forget your name, but I'll give you a little shout out. Put it down. Thank you for recommending. <clears throat> and also, I had a lot of reviews, so had to had to be in the video. <laughs> you think they give out samples of um, the meat like this to everyone? I don't know. Just be because honest. you're a celebrity now. <laughs> I'm the taco uh, mayor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm oh. the vice man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. See you guys next one. Next spot. All right. We are at second location at Cholitas. Hey, look at that. We could, we could actually be twins today. <laughs> we have the same hat on. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Two oh, Filipinos. Shit. Look at the, I didn't even notice the color. The sunglasses and everything. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? Steph, Stephanie was actually saying, yeah, just starting to look more like I like it every, every time. Like, hey, you're right, babe. <laughs> Them tacos bring us together. Them tacos are bringing us together, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're at Cholita Linda, right? Yeah, right away. I mean, you gotta dig the presentation, right? It looks delicious. It looks really nice. Yeah. But yeah. I have to point this out because a lot of people forget to give us limes. And this time they gave us limes, but guess how much they gave us? <laughs> That's a quarter of a wedge. Yo, <laughs> come on. Come on, yo. Like, how are you going to be stingy with the limes? Are you really going to put a little piece of lime for these big ass tacos? Like, uh, you should add the minimum two, three wedges like that size uh, at the minimum. Like, but, yeah, yeah. Do you put that much effort into yeah, the tacos? And then I, you... Everything looks perfect, but come on. Limes, <laughs> yeah, but it could still taste amazing. I uh, yeah, it so, right. so, tastes amazing. I think we go for the fish first, man. Yeah, let's do fish. A little bit of lime juice, the five yeah. drops that we can. Yeah, yeah. Now I've got a, <laughs> I've got a what's it called? Portion out, got a ratio. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Out my lime juice. Exactly. You have to build two drops per taco. <laughs> <laughs> so right away, uh, we got fish and carnitas. By the way. So double white corn tortilla. The fish one has some radish slices, some uh, cilantro. What, what's this cabbage? Is this lettuce. I think it's lettuce. Looks like cabbage. I think it's I think cabbage. It's lettuce, man. This is definitely a lettuce leaf right here. Oh, okay. Maybe a combination of lettuce and cabbage. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, combination of both. The cilantro, cebolla, uh, sour cream, and the fish, which looks to have like some kind of red or orange sauce mm -hmm. yeah, I, don't, I don't see any onions in there you do yeah, yeah they're there and they're just they just blend in with the uh. blend in with the stuff almost that's pretty good mm-hmm Pretty good. I'm not mad. But I do wish it had more lime. <laughs> I wish we had it with some salsa for it too, you know? Maybe they added it already. Yeah. Because in the in the settings it said choose no salsa if you want. Mm. No salsa, but I left it on there. So you maybe think it's like in the batter of the fish? The, the... No, because look at I see that the red orange. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think yeah, that's I think the salsa. Mm. Yeah. It can it doesn't really have any heat to it. It's more like a flavor salsa. Hey, this is really good. Mm -hmm. The fish isn't dry. Mm -mm. It's got a good crisp on the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the flavors are really nice. They, they, they feel pretty fresh to me. I actually like the combination of that cabbage and lettuce. It adds a little more of that crunch. Mm. Tortillas aren't soggy, not falling apart. They're good. Definitely not handmade, but they're good. But of all the places you've been to now, how many have handmade tortillas? Like a handful, right? Mm, yeah. Possibly anywhere around five, maybe. Mm. So far, Alameda, you're not disappointed. <laughs> so far. <laughs> well, what's interesting is this place is literally just right up the street from mm. the first spot we hit. <laughs> yeah. Like a, like a 30 second walk. Like how does a spot next to it have no great tacos? 
not amazing tacos. Uh -huh. Like it's it's kind of unusual to go to three places and not 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 one of them had a home run. Yeah, that was a great taco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were wondering because um, usually whatever city we hit up, there's at least one spot that's a home run that's fantastic. And I think Berkeley was the first place where all the tops were just okay. Mm, yeah, that's so weird. So right then, away, Alameda's better than Berkeley. <laughs> and they'll feel like they're on the same plane, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> All right, carnitas. Carnitas, we already had one today. So let's see if this tops it. I have a feeling it will. See, looks can be deceiving. So basically the same treatment as the fish one. It has that cabbage mixture with lettuce, double white corn, tortilla, the same red salsa, the same salsa. Basically everything's the same, just yeah. the protein. So let's see. This reminds me of Tinga. <laughs> the oh, first, the chicken? Yeah. Chicken? Uh, first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, it definitely has that Tinga flavor. Like, you could taste the cumin, the onions, the tomato, garlic, salt, pepper, all that. There's probably some kind of combination that's really, that's close to the Tinga style. There's definitely a party going on in my mouth right now. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Ladies, you're invited. There's there's a whole lot of diversity. To yeah, that. there's. That's for sure. Yeah, you got the United Nations going on <laughs> in my mouth right now. With United Nations of flavor. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely not mad at it though. It's a different take on it, I think. Cholita Linda, right? Cholita Linda, yeah. Yeah, I think it's definitely a winner. It's a good spot. Mm hmm So far, two for two. Wow. You guys just got to be more generous with these suckers, man. <laughs> hey, the first spot gave us half a lime, which is dope. Yeah. That's that's perfect for me. Half a lime is the thing. Remember, the way you do one thing is how you do everything. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't just make great tacos. Add more lime, too. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like you can taste the salsa more? Mm hmm so in this one, right? Mm hmm I actually like the radishes on this one too, because I'm not a big radish guy when it comes to tacos. It's It has such like a neutral flavor. It doesn't really, I feel like it doesn't really add too much to the taco experience. So the fact that they added just slice, thin slices of it, I think that's pretty cool because it's, you know it's there, but it's not too much. Just a little hint of it. I mean, it's just, uh, it's there to add that little bit of crunch. No crunch, low low uh, visuals, you know, to have oh. some, col some color. But yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I would say these tacos are definitely on a different level from Ramiro Ram Ram and Sons because I think they do take into account the, the visual, the aesthetic, the presentation of the taco. Well, even the so, branding, it's you know, even the spot looks really nice. Like if 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 when it opens, it looks like a nice place to dine in. Mm -hmm. So I'm not mad at that. It's almost like another Tacalicious kind of vibe. Feel like was that Palo Alto? Mm -hmm. Except that prices here are a lot better than Tagalicious. <laughs> Tagalicious are like freaking ten bucks a tag or something like that. Palo Alto prices. Yep. But all right, second spot. Cool. Yeah, it was good. All right. Time to go there. do my job. First <laughs> way. <laughs> saying the name la penca azul so we found out what that means go what for is it. it apparently uh well, obviously azul is blue and then uh, la penca that's the leaf from the agave plant mm -hmm. so it's like the blue agave leaf plant yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> and as we all know agave is how we make mezcal or tequila yeah right. and if not i'll just put something down there that says what it really is and right away look at that a full wedge yes full wedge. <laughs> finally yeah. Uh, so yeah this is interesting <laughs> yeah so we got one casa beria mm -hmm. over here which you guys should know if you watch the other videos but this mm -hmm. i don't know what this is this other one 
Uh, so what I understood, it was like a handmade tortilla and then cheese, which is grilled. Mm -hmm. And then they added the protein, which I believe was asada and al pastor, if I'm not mistaken. Asada and al pastor. I believe so, but, ah. um, but we'll see right now. And the corn, we had, there's like some roasted corn, some tomatoes, red onions, red onions cheese, cilantro, 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 cebolla. Well, it's red onions. Yeah. And that's I think, red onions. I think that's it. And the sauces, right? We got sauces. Yeah, sauces. And like you got the jalapenos on the side. Little jalapeno wedges. Yep. Some radishes. And the lime. That's yeah. Oh, the onions too. Nice yeah. little Tupperware container too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's yeah right away, just you know, just for some presentation and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you gotta give two thumbs up. Mm-hmm. But right. as we as we all know, that's just one part of it. The next thing is how great are they? And there's also consomme. Mm, definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, and I think some uh, freshly made tortilla chips. <laughs> yeah. well, the tortilla was freshly made. We definitely maybe. won't be able to eat all those, but yeah, we'll try, like, one of the chips. Real quick. We're gonna have to try it though. Hmm. Okay. Salsita. Not bad. It's got a little bit of flavor. It's definitely meant to be eaten with salsa. I think. Mm -hmm. I might have the salsita and the taco. It smells really tomatoey. <laughs> the salsa. And I'm gonna take a tip from the a sip. Oh from yeah. The consomme real quick. You're gonna go with that first? I just wanna take a little sip. Just calm my name out. Like all, right, all right, all right. Like me some broth. I'll take a sip. I feel like you'll get a good idea. It's really good. Mm, smells good. They already added the cilantro and the cebolla and the lime juice, which is perfect. I think as far as consomme goes, this and um, Chico's and San Mateo, good. Mmm. Tartar Salisco and uh, Concord was good as well, but I think, I think actually this is better than that. Mmm. I don't know. To me, they're all, they're all kind of the same. To mm. be honest, I don't see a big difference. Well, it's like I said before, I have a more well-developed palate. You than do, this guy. you do. Um, You've been eating more consomme yeah, yeah, than yeah, I have. Yeah. This is this is my heritage. That's it's right. I almost culture. forgot. So I'm the Filipino. You're the Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ooh, which one do we try first? I would say the taco. All right. Let's do taco. Oh, and they they got some uh, like grilled onions hidden underneath too. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys see that. That massiveness. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna Ham fit this thing in my mouth. Handmade tortilla too. I don't know how I'm gonna fit in my small Asian mouth. No comment. Yeah, this guy's <laughs> gonna do a close up of me trying to eat this thing for sure. <laughs> First bite, no salsa, my tradition. Damn, this thing is big. It's so big, daddy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this thing's falling apart. <laughs> That's interesting. Huh. Very good. Mm hmm. One thing I'm not digging though is the cheese, I think. Mm. To me, I think the cheese doesn't really go with this. Yeah. The salsa maybe could, maybe because they didn't give us the right one or not, or not, but I think the salsa could be a little better. I see, I mean, the cheese is definitely a little bit overpowering. Mm. But you know what, if you, like the, if you like cheese in general, I don't think it's gonna bother you at all. Yeah. And of course, I, I this place is like a, like a chipotle, right? Like you pick your stuff like as you go. So I just told them do it how you would eat them and like the best way you could recommend them because we don't. Tell them how to do their job. The yeah. Is to see how. Exactly. To review them on how they really make it, what they prefer how, people to experience. What they think a good taco is. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, we'll put some But the quality is there. I mean, the, the meat is really good. Um, I mean, the hand tortilla already, it gives it another level. I don't say that the cheese isn't bothering me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think if it was a little bit less of it, mm. it would be better. Mm. But I'm not hating on it, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> show them, show them. So I could say that this one's a carne asada, now that I, I tried it and I look at mm. it. Oh, can't forget the little jalapeno right here. Roast yeah. it. I would say I'm loving it. It's good. I'm loving it. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just being picky. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you know, we don't always have to agree on every taco. Holy! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's a spicy one. Yeah. Damn. Bite the jalapeno. Not the boss of me. Woo! 
Right, here we go. I'll take a bite. Damn. Don't call me off guard. <laughs> Shit. I'll take a little bite. <laughs> oh, damn. Ah, damn. Yeah, I mean, I just took a little bite. And I can, uh, that can definitely kill the kid. No, but I, I felt it, it right when I bit it. it was... <laughs> well, you took a big ass bite, right? Damn. Like I can feel Woo! like my nose start to flare up. That's good, though. Spicy. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish the quesadilla. At least a bite. Yeah, I'm going to finish the bite. Put some mail, try to drink it all. <laughs> <laughs> Your usual? Maybe. Mmm. It's good. Yeah. Well, it's very good. Yeah. Alameda, you guys got something going on out mm -hmm. here, man. Hidden secret. All right. Oh, did I forget to put lime on? Damn. You know what I did too. God damn. I'm so busy talking about what, how awesome it looks. Yeah. So I had to <laughs> dig right into it. I think that's probably what it was missing. A little lime that I forgot. But it was still really oh, good. Oh, did you finish it already? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what I was missing for me. I didn't even realize. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cuts through a lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the lime is perfect. It's amazing how that lime can make such a huge difference. Hell to the yeah. It's like eating french fries without ketchup. Who the hell would do that? Oh man. Alright, let's, let's take at least one bite of this bad boy. Get Siberia. So, what I noticed is that it looks like they combined two tortillas, handmade tortillas. And then they added the protein inside with the cheese. Let's see what it has. Yeah, so it just has the cheese and the and the cow meat in there it's interesting you're seeing the quesadilla a lot more these days yeah that's definitely a popular item now it is i've never even heard of it before taco tours yep thanks thanks to taco tours right yep. yeah showing me a whole new world yes <laughs> all right let's do this no salsa right yeah i always take the first bite without salsa all right vamos Oh, that's interesting. As far as quesadillas mm. go, this is definitely on the softer side. Mm -hmm. Usually these things are super crunchy. Mm -hmm. This one's actually quite soft. Mm. I like it though. That handmade just, I'm telling you, it's just another different level. Mm. Right? I mean, you don't, I mean, who knows, right? It feels a little more crunchier and it's handmade, but it's mm. still delicious though because it's soft. Yeah, this is so good. <laughs> Wait, can't forget a dip. <laughs> dip, next, baby, dip. Ne next bite has dip, a dip. Dip, baby, dip. <laughs> yeah, I feel like for this one, the, the flavors are blended perfectly. The uh, meat's nice and tender. It's funny because it feels like you're biting into one thing yeah. instead of different layers yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's so soft, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's um, like the softness of the, the shell, the fried shell, it matches the softness of the meat perfectly. I might just finish this actually, it's <laughs> that good. Damn. Right, I'm trying to dip it in that bad boy. Dip. Mmm. 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 Yeah, what you said, what's interesting is they combine two tortillas to make one long mm -hmm. taco. Mm -hmm. Overlap, I think like things like that's pretty cool, you know, it's a different touch mm -hmm. to it. Oh yeah, the perfect combo. Oh man, so good. This is the bomb. <laughs> so good, I don't want to do it, but I might do it. <laughs> Damn. He's gonna kill it, folks. Oh man. Every time he kills the consomme. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna get sick eating this mud. <laughs> oh, that's it for me, I'm tapping out. Yep, me too. Oh wow, it's so good though. Looks like Chris is gonna get some consomme and quesadilla for lunch. <laughs> I feel like I wish one of our faucets had consomme just pouring <laughs> out so we could every, every morning just oh, man. take a sip. <laughs> right? Oh my god. <laughs> well, uh, you get sick of it eventually. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> but do we get sick of water? <laughs> <laughs> the water's not thick like consomme. <laughs> Still. Delicious. Damn, that's a home run. That's Damn. honestly a home run, folks. All right. Favorite place and favorite taco. Yep. Go for it. All right.
I think it's, a, it's definitely a toss up between the two, the last two spots, huh? I feel like all three. Really? Are, yeah, for really? me at least. I will give my favorite place to. I'll say the second place. Mm, interesting. Because. It has some uh, some new some new ways some new ways of making their tacos and I like their brand I like their you know presentation portions are good people are great I mean I think it's a cool spot so Cholita Linda a uh, Cholita Linda yeah okay I said it right <laughs> I give you my favorite place and favorite taco who that's another hard one. Look, I put, I put way too much of this hand sanitizer. <laughs> Less in my, my <laughs> You're just like... I can taste it in my mouth. It's a little by the oops. Way too much. Man, favorite... Rubbing it on my forearms. <laughs> You're like, uh... Oh, fuck. All right. Favorite taco. Damn. <laughs> damn, 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 damn. I forgot to put my sunglasses on. Get my cool look. <laughs> there you go, twins. Twinning. <laughs> All right, let me finish, dude. <laughs> oh, man. This is a hard one, too, man. Favorite taco, favorite taco. You know what? I'm going to give this one to Cholita Linda's fish taco. Mm. I just think uh, it was just a d new, f new flavors in my mouth that I haven't tasted combined together. So, yeah, I think it's... Uh, it's a unique experience for that fish taco. And that's also, I mean, what about you, Mike? Um, well, first I have to say that to me, Cholita Linda and um, La Penca Azul, they're on the same level. They're both home runs. They're, they both knock it out of the ballpark. Um, but for me, my favorite spot would be uh, Cholita Linda. Mm -hmm. And that's just because I think, like I said, they're both on the same playing field, but their tacos, like, uh, I don't know why they, they feel like fresh and healthy mm. almost somehow. Whereas um, here at La Pinca Azul, they're also fresh. But I guess you know, because of all that cheese and it's so oily, I, they almost, I almost feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. Mm. After, they almost feel like a heart attack meal. Whereas after eating at uh, Cholita Linda, I don't feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. But also, it just at, feels like it's a cleaner experience. But also at the, at the Pinca Azul, remember that's you're making your own taco. Yeah. yeah but depending on how you make it, yeah, but I can only base it off of what we had, mm -hmm. right? And so that's why my favorite taco of the day too is also the fish taco. Mm. So yeah, the fish taco is just because it, it's just a cleaner experience for me. Like on, on the inside, I don't know, like I said, it doesn't feel like a heart attack meal. Mm -hmm. and, and the flavor is great, the presentation is great. They need to be better about giving better, bigger limes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but like I said, La Penca Azul, Cholita Linda, they're on the same level. It really just comes down to personal preference. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. This guy's just trying to flirt with me. Hey, man. This but <laughs> I got to give it up to the quesadilla with the consomme, man. That's just. It's like a big yeah. kiss. I'll say if you want to. If you wanna like pass out and go into a food coma, <laughs> definitely go to La Penca Azul. That'll be the spot for you. If you know you wanna go back, be able to go back to work after lunch, <laughs> definitely Cholita Linda. Yeah. Mm. Nah, but I think this episode had a lot of good ass tacos. I can't really complain too much. I mean, the Alameda is definitely one of the better spots I've been and, to with you. And I was telling them I'm pretty surprised that this is next, literally next to Berkeley, right? And it's like, no, it's not next to Berkeley. It's next to Oakland. It's oh not yeah, too far but it's from not too far. But yet, it's like such a big difference. Like, and and we tried three places in Berkeley, and this is, you know, obviously three places too, but. These are all, I think, really good, good options. So I don't know. It's yeah, like I said, crazy. it doesn't even come close between the three spots we tried in Berkeley and here. Mm -hmm. No comparison. Alameda's yeah. the winner. That's dope. Cool. Don't forget, Mike has a really cool channel. Mike, Mike and, Chris. and Chris on this. Yep. You see it right here. Uh huh. Uh, they have, they have a lot of cool uh, 
Challenges. Challenges. Uh, it's a weekly vlog, but it's directed by We Said Goals for Ourselves each week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's an interesting take on the vlog. Yeah. This is good fun, too. You'll catch me in there, too. Yeah, yeah. A few, a few cameos. Yeah, Sam makes uh, cameos Cause, here and there. Because Mike has so many friends, right? But, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, you gotta get this guy out there. Yeah. <laughs> this, is the, this is the guy. <laughs> yeah, so don't forget to follow us. I am Vida Eats and... Yeah, at Mike Libuno. All right. And like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And that's it. That's Mike and Chris on this. Let's get it. <laughs> Late.